Um, I am speaking today about a three-year crop trial that we have run in Ireland to examine the effects of using digestate or, and compost in agriculture as fertilizer products. Um, it is um, an integrated study where we have tried to look at the effects on the soil, on the plant growth and on the economics and also on farm management and the environmental effects. Um, this was quite complex to do and we decided to do it farm scale using farm machinery and, fa and farmers um, and we had duplicate trials on plots of around 960 square meters. We looked at five different farms um, and three different crops. We had spring barley, spring wheat and uh, winter wheat and grass clover. Um, so we've also looked at different weather conditions and different soil conditions. Uh, we ran over three years. The first year we had three farms, the second year we had five farms and the last year we had two farms which were showing the most interesting results. Um, overall the effects um, we, we applied, we compared digestate and compost to normal farming practice of artificial fertilizer and slurry. Um, and the plots were fertilized uh, as would be normal um, and normal farm practice was carried on. Um, the results were quite distinctive that both compost and digestate could produce, uh, could be used to replace artificial fertilizer. Um, the nutrients were, were available in, in a similar way um, and the crop yields were at least as good if not better. Um, with the digestate we found that in the spring barley the, the yield was slightly increased but the crop quality of protein levels were slightly lower. In the grass clover we had a 22% increase in yield and the protein was greater in the third year um, than all other treatments. Um, why this is happening we still have to find out and a lot more research is needed to understand of a lot of the questions that were raised. The farmers were very interested in the products but their availability and the handling were their main concerns.